The Federated States of Micronesia is an oceanic nation of over 600 islands in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. It consists of four states from the west to east, Yap, Chuk, Ponape and Kosarai that are spread across the western Pacific Ocean. Ponape State hosts the capital of FSM and is the most developed island in FSM. A coral reef surrounds the island, forming a protected lagoon with a coast protected by mangrove swamps. One of the most remote and beautiful places on earth, the people are feeling the pinch of rising food prices and they have growing concerns about what they will eat in the future. Despite being home to a large coral reef, this small island nation has increasingly significant food security issues. More people are consuming more imported food. That's an unfortunate uh, part of it, but, uh, but it's a reality. Uh, people are, there are local food, that, but people shifted from consumption of local food over the past uh, uh, decades and now uh, consuming a lot of um, imported uh, uh, food. Food security is defined by the World Health Organization as when all people at all times have access to sufficient, safe, nutritious food to maintain a healthy and active life. It includes the availability of food and the ability to access and make use of food. Here in FSM, islanders have traditionally achieved food security through farming and fishing. However, nowadays imported food is increasingly important and reliance on local production is declining. When we look at food security, uh, it's, we're targeting most, uh, more the most vulnerable islands, and these are the outlying islands uh, or atolls. Uh, we have about 30% of, uh, roughly 30% of the FSM populations living on those uh, small islands. In 1997-1998, the islands of FSM were severely impacted by drought during El Nino conditions and again in 2007 and 2008. A nationwide state of emergency was announced and food security was declared the top priority. If we don't have our locally produced food, then we will be dependent on outside. Uh, and it's really risky, you know, it's risky for our people uh, here because uh, uh, we're so isolated from the main uh, food producing uh, countries. And therefore, it's, it's also very expensive. The people of FSM are already grappling with the impacts of climate variability. Added to this, increasing temperatures, changing rainfall patterns and rising sea levels will adversely impact food and water security. We have to be creative to do more with less and so that's what we're trying to do. The little that we have, uh, we try to build synergies with other uh, either international uh, funding sources. Uh, regional funding sources or other f sources from other partner organizations or that's what we do and then uh, try to uh, implement pro uh, programs that will benefit the uh, people of the FSM. For FSM, like its Pacific neighbors, addressing climate variability and climate change involves all sectors of society. A sub-regional media training workshop on climate change and renewable energy funded by the European Union was conducted by SBC and other partners in Ponape in October 2012. This provided an opportunity to share experiences and learn media skills that will raise public awareness of climate change and how to cope with its impacts. The Global Climate Change Alliance Pacific Small Island States Project is working with nine smaller Pacific Island countries and that includes the countries here in the North Pacific, uh, FSM, Palau and Republic of Marshall Islands. Uh, so here in, in Federated States of Micronesia, 
the country has identified the area of coastal management for food and water security as a priority. Climate change affects all four dimensions of food security, food availability, access to food, stability of food supplies and food utilization. People in FSM have become increasingly reliant on imported food, some of which have lower nutrient quality than traditional staples. We are hoping that the policy can assist guide us in where we can focus you know, our efforts in order to maybe enhance or stimulate the consumption of local food. We're uh, also partnering with the state agencies, NGOs, and I think uh, uh, one, NG one very important NGO in this area is Island Food Community where they're, uh, of Pombe, where they're doing a lot of awareness uh, encouraging uh, the consumption of healthy food. Over the years, the production and consumption of local food in FSM has seen a decrease. In the hope of reversing this trend, Simon Mix opened this vegetable and fish market in Ponape to help farmers and fishermen sell their produce. A lot of Ponapeans now depend on rice. It is very convenient. And it's what we hear a lot here. The number one reason of rice as to local food is the convenience. The local food we have here, we sometimes provide the surface of um, skinning it for them, peeling it to provide the service of just making it convenient to take it home and put it in the pot and boil. As to, that's what everybody does with rice. When they come from work, they just, the rice is very convenient and easy to prepare. On the small coral atoll of Parkin, subsistence or artisanal fishing is often the principal livelihood. But over-harvesting and poor environmental practices are threatening inshore and near-shore fishing resources. When I was still young, I go out with my older cousins who went fishing maybe in up to two days or one day we can catch around 800 pounds. But now we cannot even reach 400 pounds. Can only 100 some pounds we bring to Pompeii and then come back. So I don't know if the fish are getting <laughs> fewer or I'm not sure what's happening. I used to fish a lot about 15 years ago. I fished three days out of one week. One day fish, one day rest. It was that, I was fishing that often. But so much has changed then. So much now, now that I've been busy with the market here and when I have the time to go back out and fish the grounds I normally fish, a lot has changed. Um, there is not that many fish that used to be there. In order to help address the problems in Ponape and promote local foods, the island food community of Ponape was set up to help bring the focus back to local produce and promote healthy living. The organization has been working with communities throughout the FSM to promote nutritious varieties of local food crops such as bananas and giant swamp taro. We are able to see uh, more utilization of local food. You know, when you, uh, you tra drive around the, uh, like the main town in Pompey Colonia, you see a lot of um, locally produced uh, uh, takeout food, you know, already cooked, available. Uh, we don't really have this like uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, and also some of the varieties of, um, of, of crops that are not seen in the market are becoming uh, available uh, through the markets. The Pacific Australia Climate Change Science and Adaptation Planning, PACSAP, has been implementing a sustainable agricultural development project in FSM. The project uses participatory consultative approach to work with local farmers and aims to improve their food security and livelihoods while also addressing climate change induced production problems. This includes on-farm demonstration plots to train farmers. Before we actually selected the farms, we conducted community surveys. And uh, on an average of eight communities in each state, for this project uh, on uh, food security and uh, climate change, it's implemented in the 
four FSM states, Panape, Kosrai, Yapinchuk. And uh, I believe it's the first uh, effort that has, uh, has ever been made to, uh, to involve uh, partners. In the event of an emergency, a, a long-term drought where crops actually fail uh, and so forth, SPC's got its gene bank and uh, we're working with the national government to help uh, roll out a joint disaster risk management and climate change adaptation plan so that when, if there's a drought or typhoon, for example, that those, those islands that are affected or communities that are affected are able to get the tools to regrow and also the crops delivered to them in a fairly timely manner. Related to this, SPC's Centre for Pacific Crops and Trees, established with support from Australia and the European Union, aims to assist Pacific Island countries to conserve their genetic resources and adopt sustainable agricultural systems. I believe that uh, for Panape, they have uh, a good future in front of them because they, they still have a lot of resources that they still uh, that needs to be utilized uh, and just uh, identify uh, probably just some key farmers to export who are responsible for export, like for commercial farmers, and then the traditional agroforestry system because it's wild harvest. Eh? Like uh, it can meet the domestic market for the time being. Eh? I think awareness is a very uh, critical component of uh, helping the local people to realize uh, that you know some of these imported food are not really uh, healthy for the body, but uh, the, the most of the local food that we have are really good for the body. But people tend to be you know, shifting away from. Uh, these healthy diets. It's nice to actually work on the ground in the communities with, with all the different levels of government to make um, one small part of resilience happen. But this is only the beginning. FSM and even that particular community is going to probably need extra assistance with other areas. Food security is crucial for human survival. So it is important we adequately prepare for the challenges ahead, including climate change and changing social patterns. For small and delicately balanced Pacific communities such as FSM, climate variability and climate change are significant challenges. Building on traditional knowledge and implementing measures such as sustainable agricultural and fishing practices, conserving water and energy, and reducing the pollutants flowing into our rivers and ocean will help maintain a healthy land and marine environment and one that is more resilient to climate change. Mm -hmm.